Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be um, doing an unboxing and a review from Shapeways. So Shapeways is a uh, 3D printing company and it's a kind of a cool thing, kind of the way of the future where folks can upload 3D models, 3D designs and other people can purchase them from Shapeways and Shapeways prints them out and ships them on demand. So you order them, they make them, put them in a box and send them to you. So um, it's kind of a new way to to do miniatures. The technology is getting better and better um, and finally it's uh, it's becoming affordable for consumers like us. So anyone can upload a 3D design to Shapeways and assuming it meets the requirements, it, it's uh, built correctly, it, it it's not too detailed for, for what it's doing. Um, you can produce a physical model from it. So I wanted to test them out. So I placed an order to Shapeways just for a few little odds and ends. Um, and I'll explain those, those uh, games as we go through here too if you're interested. But uh, first to just show you what you get. So I, I ordered uh, three things from Shapeways. Uh, I got this box after about two weeks. and. Um, it comes with a packing slip, a thank you card, and the um, items themselves. So I've already opened this box so I know and um, in this particular order I was missing one of my three things that I had uh, I'd ordered. I was missing one item. So I placed three, and actually all three are, are here on my, my shipping item, but I only got two. I actually emailed them and they were really nice. They said they're going to make it and ship it again. Um, but just, just know that my first attempt, I didn't get everything I ordered on the first go. Not a deal breaker at all, but a little bit of a disappointment. So what did I get or what did I order? So I just ordered um, a, a few small things that uh, were relatively inexpensive because I wanted to check them out. Um, the first thing I ordered was a one uh, 270 scale uh, Starfighter. So this is X-Wing scale miniature. And the miniature itself is uh, uh, the Thunderfighter from the old Buck Rogers TV series. So um, it comes in a Ziploc bag. On the Ziploc bag it's actually barcoded with a picture of the item um, you are purchasing. and then uh, the item itself. Now I ordered this in uh, FUD which is fine uh, like ultra detail. So that's what uh, FUD stands for. So when you place your order you can choose um, different ways that your, your model comes to you. So um, there are different detail levels, different types of materials. Um, the FUD or um, you know, ultra detail is one of the best because it can get all the detail on your fighter. But there are other things if you wanted it cheaper it could come in a rougher plastic. Um, you could also get a lot of things cast in metal um, but I don't know how little things like this would, would fare with metal. So I got the fine ultra uh, detail. So let me see if I can get a close up. So this is somewhat transparent you can see It's going to be hard to see all the, the detail here, but you can see it's very clean. I'm going to get some paint on this and show you guys later in the video. But this would um, be, again, one 270 scale, or at least that's what it was advertised by the person who uploaded it, fitting into um, X-Wing. So once we throw some paint on this, we'll compare it to an X-Wing ship. But there you go, that is the, the detail. And I'm uh, very pleased with that, it looks, looks fantastic. So depending on how they, they paint up, I might end up picking up a few more. I also know that the same guy makes some uh, hatchet fighters, which are the draconian bad guy fighters, which look pretty cool as well. So that's... Um, that's my first thing I ordered. 
and I was pleased with the result. The next thing I ordered was some miniatures for the game Starfire. So Starfire is really showing my age. Starfire is something, uh, an old board game from the 80s, uh, designed by the guy who designed uh, Starfleet Battles. And it's a, it's a map uh, and cardboard chits. And these are miniatures for that game. So that game is still around in one form or another, and these are some miniatures. So what I did was I ordered, this is a, uh, uh, basically a uh, quick start rules pack. So it has like three good guys and three bad guys. Um, so again, same thing, you got a Ziploc bag showing you what you ordered. And then in the Ziploc bag, you have a bubble wrap envelope with the uh, ships. I don't know, maybe on the, the red background we'll be able to see these better. And again, I got these in fine ultra detail. I'd seen some pictures uh, of other folks where they had it printed up in the other plastic, the cheaper plastic. Um, but the results, I just did not like the results. So this is, uh, again, the FUD, the fine ultra detail. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. Oops. Um, so what we have here are Terran. Uh, this is a Terran cruiser and two frigates and a uh, uh, canate of Orion which are basically like uh, cat people like Kazintis or, or uh, the bad guys in Wing Commander. Um, and they have a whole range. This is actually made by the current license holders of uh, Starfire. Well, they have a store on Shapeways so you can officially get them. Um, so there you go, this is the uh, Orion Cruiser. It's kind of a cool design. I like that they're transparent, you can say that they cloak. Uh, but I'm pleased with the detail, so I'm kind of excited by this and I, as far as a review of Shapeways, I'm probably going to order um, some more. So there you go, that is um, my order. Now I, I also ordered a, um, a Terran battlecruiser, a little bit bigger ship for this. That was the one that did not come. I ordered it separate from the, the quick start set to see some detail on a larger ship. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to put a base coat on here, maybe a wash, uh, show you guys what it looks like. I haven't decided what fleet colors I want to go with. Um, but Shapeways, check them out. They are pretty cool. And, and as a war gamer and a miniature builder and collector, it's really kind of the way of the future. Um, so there you go. That, are, that is the models out of the package. I'll have, um, if you just hang on a minute, I will, through the miracle of editing, have these things painted up and uh, compare my Thunderfighter to some X-Wing examples. Okay, I'm back with uh, my Shapeways review. It's been a couple of weeks since I filmed the first part of it, but I've had enough time to uh, paint up the models and now I want to show it to you. So, uh, first up, let's take a look at my Starfire models. So, we'll, we'll throw those out here. Um, when I did the unboxing, I mentioned that one of the models was missing in my order. And uh, I had emailed them and they were very friendly. They got me it right away and uh, I already received it and painted it. So, there you go. Um, so these are the uh, FUD, or uh, Frosted Ultra Detail. I think I was calling it Fine Ultra Detail. But it's Frosted Ultra Detail. That's why they were kind of clear. Um, so they're the more, a little bit more expensive, but um, without the rough texture on the outside. Um, and they take paint really well. I was a little worried um, going in, just because I'd heard some, some scary stories on the internet. but. I had no problem painting these. I painted these uh, Starfire ships with Citadel paints primarily. Um, everything here is pretty much Citadel. And on Facebook, and the All Miniatures Great and Small Facebook page, I think I go into a little bit more detail about what paints I used. 
Now, not only is this a Shapeways uh, review, this is also reviewing uh, these models in the Starfire range. Again, Starfire is a 1980s uh, war game, Hexen and uh, Cardboard Counter war game. And these models are relatively recent, but they're based on, for the most part, the shape of the ships in the, the old game encounters. So the heavy cruiser, for example, you know, on the counter looked something like that. Um, and it's nice to finally have these ships here. The game itself is pretty fun. I think maybe when we do a, a retro gaming, we'll, we'll play a game of Starfires to show you guys how Starfire goes. But model-wise, um, I really like this range. It's really nostalgic. It's kind of a throwback to older miniatures, but it's using the latest technology, so these aren't hand sculpted. They're, I guess they're hand sculpted in the computer, but they are uh, precision and, and well made. So my favorite is this battle cruiser. Uh, so this is a Terran battle cruiser, and let me see if we can get a focus in here. And you can kind of see um, the, the detail on these. It's plain, it's got a lot of flat surfaces, which um, makes painting easy, but it also lets you go crazy if you want to. Um, you got cool things like hangar bays and other doodads. Um, they're not specific with what these things are on the ship because the game has design your own ship rules. So your battle cruiser might have different weapons than someone else's battle cruiser. Um, but it's really cool, and I kind of like that they're flat. It's kind of kind of silly, but kind of fun because it looks like the counter. Um, so those are the Terrans. These white ones are the Terrans. I went with the blue theme not just because I like painting blue, but in the original board game the Terrans were blue counters and the uh, Orions were red counters. So these red ships um, are right here. So that's an Orion heavy cruiser. Um, they are the antagonist early in the Starfire history and then um, they become friends of the Terrans. Another interesting side note with Starfire is um, one of their authors that wrote some of the the uh, older books uh, set in this universe is David Weber, who went on to do Honor Harrington. So a lot of the um, genesis of Honor Harrington is in the Starfire game and the uh, massive amounts of Starfire history. It's, uh, it has a lot of, of shared lineage. So Starfire is really cool, so check them out on Shapeways. Um, I, I like the models, I think they're affordable, and I've actually placed another order. So I'm buffing out my, my Terrans uh, this time, so I'm getting, I think, one of each, a Dreadnought, a Battleship, uh, some light cruisers, a carrier, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be sure to show those off. So there you go, that is the, um, the Starfire Shapeways miniatures. Oh, I've got to throw out something too. My wife walked by and I asked what she thought about the paint jobs, and she said, it looks like um, R2-D2 is fighting Iron Man. And uh, I can't look at these ships the same way. So I did want to show you guys some scale. So I brought just a couple of ships that I found in the closet. Um, this is a, a Zaki, Lou Zaki um, Federation heavy cruiser from Star Trek. Um, Starfleet Battles uses the same model, the plastic. It's been around for, I don't know, 30 years. When I was a kid, this same exact model is here. So you can kind of see the um, the size. It's a little bit bigger than that Terran Battlecruiser. <clears throat> also something more modern. Um, this is a uh, actually a work in progress, but it's a from Drop Fleet Commander from Hawk War Games. This is a Battlecruiser as well. Their spaceships are a little bit bigger, but uh, to kind of give you, give you an idea about sizes. So there you go. So um, the Starfire ships aren't uh, ridiculously huge. They're not too small. Um, you know, these guys are kind of cute, these little destroyers. There you go. That's the Starfire range. All right, next up I have my Buck Rogers Thunder Fighter or Quad Fighter. Um, they never really named it in the show, so it's kind of what the, the crew call it. Um, when I showed it off before, it was just in the, the FUD, the frosted ultra detail. This is just primed or base coated. And um, I didn't want to paint it just so you can kind of see the texture in this, um, in this material. And you can see it's really nice. 
Um, this is really cool. This fighter is in a 1270 scale, which is the same scale as FFG's X-Wing game. So, I said I would uh, show you some scale references, so I pulled out an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter. So you can kind of see the, the difference here. So this uh, Earth uh, Buck Rogers fighter is kind of small. It's you know A-wing sized pretty much. Um, but that's how it was in the show. It's smaller than an X-wing uh, by far. But it's got a lot of firepower. It's got like eight laser cannons in the, the nose. Um, so overall I like this. Um, I'll have a link to the Starfire store and the store uh, for the guys who, uh, who produced this um, Buck Rogers, and I should say it's uh, Buck Rogers like fighter, so they, they uh, you know, copyright and all that. Um, but there you go, that is my Shapeways uh, review. So I hope you like this. Uh, Shapeways for me was pretty cool. I really liked what I saw, I really liked what I received, and um, granted, the weight is, is uh, you know, when you order something, you want it right away. And with Shapeways, you don't get it right away. They have to build it. <laughs> it doesn't exist when you order it. So they build it, pack it, clean it up, um, and ship it to you. So it takes a couple of weeks to get your order. Um, but um, the quality is really nice. Again, I recommend this frosted ultra detail, um, especially when you're getting small models like that. The um, white strong plastic and all that stuff is just too rough. Uh, I know some people will work it and some people will like it, but um, I, I need a, a smooth surface to work on. So there you go guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review of Shapeways and of the Starfire range and the Buck Roger fighter. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Shapeways. Have you guys used it? Um, what does this mean for the future of miniature wargaming? Um, you know, does Shapeways present a threat to Games Workshop eventually? Will we be able to print Space Marines at home in our own machines. That would be pretty cool. Um, so then how do companies make money selling 3D models um, that we, we print? And how expensive would those be? So it's really kind of cool. Um, we're on the cusp of a brand new technology that's never existed before. And um, you know, by ordering these, it's a glimpse into the future. So there you go, guys. I hope you like this. Uh, if you did, go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think. Uh, check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. Thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.